G'day, welcome to Country Music World. I'm Mick. And I'm Jay. On today's episode of CMW, we're heading across to Nashville. That's right, Mick. We're going international today with a bunch of guys who first shot onto the scene in 2012 with Australia's Got Talent. Came in second. They've also picked up a couple of CMC awards voted by you. They've got Artist of the Year, New Artist of the Year, and they've also now picked up the Group of the Year. That's right, they've had a, a whole heap of number ones already. And when they get home, they're going to be hitting the road with a great new show called The New Wave of Country. Yeah, that show's massive, Jay. It's got seven acts, three countries, there's eight shows. Tickets are available at Ticketek. So remember, guys, subscribe, like, and share the videos around. And let's sit back, relax, and let's get to know a little bit more about the Wolf Brothers. Jay, we're going to zoom across to Nashville here, and I think we've got the boys online. Are you online there, lads? Hey, guys. Hey. Hey, guys. How you going, boys? Welcome to Country Music World. It's, uh, it's great to be on Country Music World. You guys are doing some uh, some great stuff, and uh, thanks for having us on for a chat. Very cool. Now, we do know you're busy, and uh, and you're currently in Nashville, which is really cool, and, and we do appreciate you taking some time, and I'm not sure what time. What time is it over there? Is it late? Is it's it early? Late. It's 9 o'clock at night. Yeah, yeah, about half past nine at night. And so, I presume that's last night for us. Yeah, yeah, we'll yeah so that's that. kind of weird in itself. Hey, let's just jump into it, lads. What, what got you into country music in the first place? How did it all happen for the Wolf Brothers? Um, big one, a very big one for us growing up was James Blundell. Um, James was kind of, you know, early 90s, you know, peak on Hey Hey Saturday. Our mum was like just in love with James. <laughs> I think a lot of her was mum. A lot of her was mum. So that was, that was just a big thing. Um, on top of that, that kind of probably spurred on mum to get into things like Garth, obviously, that was huge, um, Billy Ray, a little bit of Dwight Yoakam, um, Pop, you know, like everyone's Pop, Bluff Slim, so that was kind of constantly on in our life. Mum used to do line dancing back in the day as well, too, so there was a lot of, um, you know, Brooks and Dunn, your, your classic you know, line dance. Yeah. Uh, you know, my mum used to do that too. Yeah. Yeah, well, there you go. Did you, did you boys go along? Did you go along and have a bit of a boot skirt? Yeah, I used to. I might have had a little one twice. I used to do that. Did you do on a Saturday night? That was, that was kind of the initial um, uh, uh, country music. Dad's plays it. Dad's got a band he's played in his whole life, still playing in. Um, so Dad was playing things like um, Stones, a lot of Credence, Dire Straits, you know. Uh, all that sort of stuff. All good stuff. So, Beatles, all great stuff. So, yeah. we kind of had that kind of two influences coming in. Um, when we hit high school, we all rebelled and we were playing Iron Maiden, Metallica. Yeah, that's how we learned to sort of play. Yeah, that that I have. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, you're in, <laughs> you're in the glam hair band. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We went through all that and listened to it all. And then, um, yeah, and then it was really interesting kind of high school finished up. And then we started sort of playing music and started doing gigs together and we just kind of fell back into it. Like mm. we started doing things like rodeos, BNS balls, country pubs, and then we kind of and it was really interesting, we fully fell back in love with it, you know. And then I that we I remember we went and saw Keith Urban in two thousand and four or two thousand and five at, at, at the Tasman Room. It was like that's that's awesome. That's, that's what we wanna do. <laughs> And it was like a discovering, discovering a genre all over again, you know. So that's kind of our country music journey of, of how we kind of come to fall in love with it. I, I totally get James Blundell. Like it was, yeah. I, I was the same. I found James Blundell was one of those earliest country artists that had a bit of a rocky edge to him mm. when, yeah. when he first yeah. came out. So, yeah, I love that. But um, let's talk about your new music, guys. You've got the new album out, Going Great Guns. Hey, uh, there it is. Hey, hey, look at this. Uh, All over it, bro. Uh, plugs. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just happened to have one each. You might have been prepared a little earlier. Uh, <laughs> uh, actually, uh, no, um, yes, yeah, so we came over here in Nashville uh, late last year. We spent three months writing the whole thing, 
uh, recording the whole thing. Uh, it was one, all our previous albums we've had kind of, you know, let's say half the material that we've built up over the course of our lives. But yeah. this was the first time, it wasn't until we got on the plane, we sort of said, oh, we don't have any songs. Yeah, so no. I just, <laughs> it just kind of works out. Because um, we, before we got on the plane to come over here in November, we'd literally been on tour with Lee, on the, on Lee Kearney on the Spirit of the Anzac tour. So it was like, you know, and, and on top of that, we throw our own shows in between that. Mm. So it was like five shows a week for like, Four months, and yeah. then when you have a bit of time off, you kind of got to see your family sure. at some point. <laughs> <laughs> so it was fixed. Yeah. Got on the plane, it was like, okay, we've got to write an album now. <laughs> so yeah. um, it was kind of we got thrown in the deep end a bit. Um, Nick's kind of been the, predominantly the main writer um, and the core of the writing. Um, me and Brode really wanted to try and get better at that, get better at our craft of that. So we went into like a heap of song rights over here. We basically wrote for what, like three weeks, three or four weeks with just like yeah. different rights every day, sometimes twice a day. Um, for the first sort of week, we all wrote together with someone and then me and Barod went off and started writing with people and Nick would go and do separate rights. And it was really good. Like, I mean, we wrote, me and Barod, when we first started writing, we wrote some rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> Things I would never see in a lot of them. <laughs> <laughs> They're really good. But, but you know, it's really good. We, we wanted to, um, like, like it's third, the way we look at it, it's third album. You've got to grow. You've got to get better at what you do. So that was kind of our whole thought. Was like, it's, we've got to push ourselves as be, as far as we can to get the best songs and get the best album. Because, you know, you can, I don't want to say you can get, you can get I guess you can get comfortable. You know, when we're on the other side of the world, at the start of the trip, we were homesick, you know, other side of the world, no family, no friends. We're just just all focused on making music. And I think the result, I'm really proud of the result. Yeah, I think, I think it was the best thing we could have done. Yeah, know, like, I think it really inspired us um, so much. You yeah. Know, really inspired us. And I think there's some songs on there, I think some of our best work yet. And I, I think we've gone a little deeper in some things. I think we've touched on... You know some some truths and some stories from our lives, which is which has come over time and, and maturity as well. So um, yeah. it's nice, you know. I, I I love to see that the band's growing. I think we're moving forward and we're growing. I think that's really important. Look, I think with you, the, the album's great, and and hands down for me, it's, it's your best work yet. It's Thanks. it is so good, and I mean, wouldn't produce a thing like yeah. yeah. Seriously, Brad Paisley played on this thing. Yeah, like he did. Yes, yes, he did. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I looked at Brody. He's like, bro, seriously, <laughs> seriously. Not only did you get to see the guy and watch him play, you probably got to meet him and look how he sets his guitars up. And like, dude, seriously, think about that. Amazing. I, I did actually get to use one of his actual guitars on the album too, which was yeah. really cool. And he's a massive, yeah. I quit. massive of mine, so that was really awesome. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> it's, it's, you know, we're very proud of that because I mean, it's like you know, we, we took a. I know, we kind of took a chance and we really, really committed ourselves yeah. to coming over here and yeah. we backed ourselves and worked hard, put it out to the universe and we're very lucky that some great things like that. The other thing is too with the recording, you know, um, a big part of our, I guess, appeal and our uniqueness has always been the bond between us and Casey. Yeah. yeah. So we were kind of, we were kind of like, we well, how's this going to be? He's not going to be on the album. Like, it could go. I don't know how this is going to go, but... I mean, I mean as, a, as, a, as a bass player, like, I, I know, mm. me, me and Casey you know how each other work. Yeah. We're playing yeah, practically one person. Yeah. 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 Ca- Casey right. always... Casey you always says, I'm joking. He says, I know when Tom's going to play my drum fills. So, <laughs> <laughs> you know, like... A lot of... It's really good. Like, we, we, we used um, Rich Redmond, who's Jason Aldean's drummer. So we, we really thought, right, if we're going to get... We need to get someone who's... Incredible. <laughs> to Evan, you know, Evan Hutchings, um, I think he's on four songs in the top ten at the moment. Yeah. yeah so. so we used some, some good. He, yeah. He didn't. He was, the case was uh, just hard act to. He was a hard act to follow. So, so <laughs> got to go with the big guns. You know, so. Bloody hell, yeah. so where where did you record this? Because that's a bit of history there too. Yeah, um, we recorded this at Station West. Yeah, um, most of the Dirk Spanley stuff is done. Um, Kelly Pippa. Yeah. yeah. Just a bunch, yeah, bunch of stuff, yeah. 
Yeah. Well, we actually recently went into the studio and recorded um, some gang vocals that might go on the next Brad Paisley album. Do so. Are you kidding? Oh, we might be on. We might be on his album. This time. <laughs> that's, that's, that's cool. Awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Well, you know, look, a lot of this comes down to you create your own opportunity, and I tell you. If, yeah. if you didn't make the split and, and, you know, you didn't sort it out and get your bums on the plane and go to Nashville, this stuff's never going to happen. If you don't if you don't put your bait on the line and throw it in the water, you're never going to catch a fish. Yeah. I mean, is I mean it, is, is, some yeah. call it opportunity or luck, but behind opportunity and luck is a ton of hard work usually. Yeah. Because you've got to be ready for when those moments arrive. So, it, and make exactly. the most of them. Yeah. yeah. I remember we have, we've spent more time away from our family, like... Is what well, is we've been here and working and on the road. Actually, I think I worked at Alan Gage and I think I worked out my fiance like, and the whole time we've been engaged, like I've spent two thirds of that time over two thirds of that time away. <laughs> <laughs> so, very lucky to have very understanding family. Ah, yeah, incredible, incredible. We we have pretty good technology now too that allows us to do this face exactly. to face right. at any moment, telephone. Hey, you know, it, it helps. It really it helps. does help. But I mean, it, it is. A lot of people don't realise that it's, it's a big ask to do what you guys are doing, you know, and and you say, you to, from what I see, you're totally committed to it, and you just yeah. you yeah. can't you can't take anything away from you guys. You just you prepared to do it, and it's tough, you know, and there's a heap of sacrifices that are made that people forget about, yeah. and they're generally sitting at home waiting for you, you know. Yeah, yeah they usually yeah. do what the yeah. toughest. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, so hats off for you guys just. Plowing through it, putting that smile on, painting that smile on, and go. We're doing good over here. Where you just want to hug and cry. It's all great, you know. <laughs> now, listen. We just touched on, you know, the, the, your producer and your, your album, and you got to play with Paisley, and hopefully that turned into something again. What other highlights have you got, lads? Like, I mean, you guys have been since what was it, two thousand and twelve? The the AGT thing happened for you, and, and that, that's that was pretty incredible. Like. The AGT thing, like that, the Australia's Got Talent thing, when we reflect on that, that actually feels like a lifetime. Yeah, yeah. Well, it seems like, like that now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I am a different, I'm a different person to when yeah, we're on that yeah. show. Like that yeah. really, that really changed our lives. And, and it was, um, you know, the sun, we were a bit scared because so many people can go on their reality things and then their one minute, their... They're hot, they're the next, they're not. And, and the other thing we're, we're all a bit worried about is, you know, TV, if they want to vote you out or they want to get rid of you, they can perceive you in a way that you're not. Yeah, absolutely. But for us and their producers, I mean, I think we did six performances and we did five original songs. So, I mean, that's... That's pretty good. We had off to them, too, yeah. for actually letting us do that. I mean, they gave us... The wardrobe department was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Garth Brooks shirt. Sort of one of the mainstream media, like Australia, don't really take country seriously. No, yes, well, still fails and we're working you know, on that. We're working on that. Well, we're, we're, <laughs> we're planning on changing that because no, I'm, that's, that's yeah. very good. It, it is made me. Like, we, we, that we did um, Save a Horse Ride a Cowboy on, on yeah, that show and I remember. the original performance, they wanted to have like girls dancing on like. Yeah, and we're like, we're like, no. <laughs> no. And it's a big part of the reason we're doing this channel. There's there's a lot of different things we want to get the, the Australian artists out there. But I've been angry for decades now, growing up in this industry, <laughs> decades, seriously, yeah. that the mainstream media go to Tamworth, our premier festival or something like this, where everyone is at their showpiece, and they'll interview the guy with the chicken. Like, yeah, are you that. kidding me? <laughs> are you kidding yeah. me? Tune into Sunrise, you've got the Chook ah. Man, you've got uh, some honey. Yeah. yeah. Man. I get it. I well, get it. But we're going to do great, it properly. One great thing that's happening now is this, like the internet. Yeah. Social, yeah. We can actually. We we'll go straight around them, man. Straight, straight around. around. Yeah. yeah. It's in our hands now, really. With like, change comes opportunity. So, I, 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 you know, it's, absolutely. it's a positive thing. Absolutely. Yeah. We were talking highlights. Yeah. Let's go um, back to the highlights. I don't yeah, know <laughs> Yeah, okay. AGT, I, I want to say, I reckon the boys will agree with me here when we, because touring with Lee Kernigan was has been a big part for us. Yeah. When we first met Lee and auditioned for Lee, yeah, that, was, that, was that was an incredible moment. Like, he, we had a heap of songs learned, 
like went into this room and like, you know, we were fans. We were big fans yeah. and we still are. How scared were you? How nervous were you? Know, he's, a, he's the guy. And he's the king, man. And I remember we played, the first song we played was Dirt. And, you know, he's sort of watching Casey play drums and he's like, cool. And he's kind of looked over at me playing bass. He's like, cool. And then me and Nick are singing harmonies. He's like, it's good. And he kind of watched Nick play guitar. He's like, it's, it's pretty good. And I remember when Brody did the solo, he just stopped everything he's doing and just like, and just looked. And he's just kind of like, yeah. Finish the song and he's like, well, fellas, you've got the job. You've got the job. And it's like, that was pretty good. Yeah, that wasn't bad. You did that pretty well. <laughs> do, it, do it again. I like that. Do, do it again. That was pretty good. That, that was incredible. Um, the best thing about that was, though, like, we only did the one song and he gave us the job. And we were like, well, you know, we've, we've been practicing these 10, like 15 40. songs. <laughs> <laughs> We've been putting every day. We're like, can we play some more songs? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. Yeah. Right. Thank you, Cardigan. I want to say uh, our CFC awards have been really, yeah, that's really, really, cool. Cool. Oh, yeah. been really important. And uh, because they're fan voted, I yeah. think that's um, that's been really special to us. And really we've special. had, we've, yeah, I can't really name any right now, but yeah, there's been so many amazing just oh, nights yeah. and gigs oh, all around amazing. the country, and and now. Over here as well, you know, they've just been, which oh. so lucky to get to do that sort of stuff. Yeah. You know? yeah. Um, so yeah, mate, this, as you said, this, we're so we're so lucky and we're so grateful for everything, and we really make it a, a rule between us that we never forget that because you know there's so many other like the opportunities we've had and things we've got to do. There'd be so many other people that would love to do that and haven't had the opportunity. So we're just so grateful that. Yeah, we get to do it. Yeah, we like to. Yeah, we pride ourselves on the modesty. We have a rule. Yeah, we have a rule. <laughs> we have a rule in the band. If um, that's not broken, you know, no one's no, no one's broken it yet. But if, you, if someone ever gets caught saying, um, "Don't you know who I am?" Um, the um, the entire band and crew of the show gets to punch them in the face. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Who's going to be the first one? Well, uh, I think, you know, I think you guys have you've been exceptional for, you know, it does seem like a lifetime, but realistically, before you came into our headlights, it's only really been four years since the AGT thing. Prior to that, though, I mean, you didn't, you weren't invented on AGT. You guys, yeah. are, you guys were working your bums off down in Tassie. Yeah, you've been, yeah. You know, yeah, I was saying before, you know, like we've been working really hard and just doing everything we could for a number of years. And when AGT finally came up, that was our, the yeah, it was our, yeah. It was our, it just, it just basically, yeah. 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 For me, it just propelled us forward, and I'm, I'm so glad that you did AGT. I remember seeing you guys on your very first night where you just walked out, and I said to my wife, I said, "They're going to win it." I said, these guys will win it because it was the coolest groove and the backbeat thing happening. I'm just like, I love these guys. And it was a country song and it was an original country song. And I'm like, that's crazy. You know, so hats off to them for letting them do that, that for you because yeah, it helped a lot, you know. But um, I think you're probably going to get some more career highlights relatively soon because you, you guys are coming back in the next couple of weeks, I suppose. So, Next month, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and and tell us about what's going to happen then, because this seems pretty yeah. massive. What yeah, you about we're, to do? We're all, all busy. We, we come back. We do. Um, so we're doing a, this crazy life tour, and um, like it's 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 seven acts. To sum it up, guys, it's seven acts from three different countries on the one night. And for us, you know, it come, it comes back to what you guys are doing as well. It's about moving the genre forward. It's about taking it to more people. Bigger venues, getting new fans to come along. Um, you know, we're, we're doing venues like Palms in Melbourne, big, bigger rooms. Um, and, and I mean, it's really important to us because, you know, we've been very lucky with someone like Lee's taking us out on the road and supported us. We wanted to take uh, newer acts out, guys like um, Craig Heath, who's, who's going to be brand new. You're going to hear a lot from him. Uh, we've got Jodie Doreen from New Zealand. She's Really talented. Right. Christy yeah. Lamb, yep. she's great. Um, Troy Camp, obviously, Troy's a legend. Yep. Um, and Gord's coming over as well. Gord's great. And then Caitlin. Um, and we, 
working on putting on a really uh, a, a packed full show, two set show that sort of highlights every artist and highlights modern country music. And we're trying to say to people, if you're not from, uh, if you've never listened to country, buy a ticket. It's like 40 bucks for seven acts, you know. It's like... Is that all it is? Yeah, it's like... Really? It's a mini festival. It's a mini festival. It's, 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 it's like six bucks an act. For 40 know? bucks? It's, it's, you know, like it's a bargain. It's a bargain. Right. And we just want to, we want to show people that, we just want to show people what new country's about and we want to put on something big, something different. And, um, yeah, we're really excited for it. You know, as I said, it's mini festival, mini festival on the road, basically. We're doing a bunch of dates with that, and um, yeah, we, we can't wait to get we, look. We can't wait to get home to play. It. It's you know, so it's run. it's eight shows over a month. Yes. yes so yes. you know, next time you sit down with Steve and you say, okay, why do we want to put together a tour? And we want to do this. Can you please make it ten shows and bring the next two yeah, to North Queensland? Yeah, two thousand. Yeah, two thousand k's away for forty bucks. I'm thinking of getting on a plane. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, right. No, look, it, it is, and it's, and honestly, it's. We would have loved to have done Northern Queensland, WA, in South Australia, with getting, with getting the seven acts. <laughs> The venues oh, and everyone. Logistics nightmare. Yeah. Logistics. <laughs> so, yeah. Apologies to anyone in them areas. We really do mean it. We we pride ourselves on trying to get to as many places as we can, but we could we couldn't on this one. But well, I mean, you guys, you aren't strangers to North Queensland. You you still come up here, so I'm, you know, I'm being pretty well, selfish by saying that. But now, well, now I know that tickets are only forty oh. bucks. I might just jump on a plane and go because yeah, it's not that much. <laughs> yeah. It's not going to turn out too That's expensive. Right. It's pretty good. <laughs> it's bloody good. It's pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> All right, boys. Um, you've done a lot in four years that you've been on the well that we've known about you since then. Um, what advice would you have for newcomers coming into the industry? And this is a weird one I find because yeah, we, we still don't feel like we're like in a you know <laughs> advice giving you know, position. <laughs> but um, I don't know. I think you know. Well, anything you've learned along the way. Take everything you, know. you can, put yourself in any, not any, but as many, uh, you know, positive places that, might, as many spot fires as you can. Yeah, spot fires being, you know, you do a show here in some town, you go into a radio here, you know, do an interview here and then, you know, and hopefully you, you light enough spot fires and someday when you have that big song, you have that big opportunity, they all come together and, Exactly. Why you go. Yeah. And, um, and get used to operating without any sleep. Yes. Because <laughs> that's like the number one thing. The only thing I'd add to that is um, one thing we've kind of learned is you just, you know, I, I'm especially when we come out, first come out, modern country rock, there's, there's going to be some haters. And that's right, that is right. that's a good thing because, you know, I think you've just got to believe in what you do, back yourself and um, work hard and as Nick said, just keep taking every opportunity you get, and then one day something big's going to come along, and what, you'll, what's be, you'll, the, what, you'll be away. It's a great definition of luck, and it's luck is when opportunity meets preparation. Remember so, that. Yeah. Just always remember yeah, that. That was not bad. Yeah. yeah. You should, you should well, be also fun. Right? I did not make that up. Yeah. yeah. You put that on a shirt or something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now we'll pitch that one. We'll put that on our shirt. I like that. I always have one too that says, Luck looks like a hell of a lot like hard work. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, you know, that's true. And yeah. it's, you know, and you, you guys summed it up perfectly. You, you like your spot fires, you know, you say yes to as many reasonable things as you can, but, <laughs> yeah, you, know, it's, it's, you know, look. You're going to encounter some, some interesting things. There's, there's going to be some ridiculous you know, requests. There's going to be a promoter screwing you somewhere along the way. Right. But if that, all that's going to happen. You've got to you know, take it on the chin. Hey, you know. Jews. Yeah, hey, you have to do it. Yeah, you yeah. do. It doesn't just come overnight. It doesn't just happen, you know. That. No, it doesn't. Boys, where can we find you? So, if you know, if all our, our hardcore followers want to come and see you and, and go and start stalking you on the world of social media and your websites and, you know, Please. get part of this crazy <laughs> life, where can uh, we find you? Uh, just the Facebook page is just the Wolf Brothers. Wolf uh, obviously has an E on the end. Um, our Instagram... Um, Snapchat and Twitter handle is wolf uh, underscore brothers. Um, check out our website, which is thewolfbrothers.com. Um, we've got ticket links up on there. 
Um, and there's links to everything, our YouTube channel up on there, all of our videos. If you've only just sort of heard of us and seen the new single, you know, you can, you can check out some of the other music videos we've released over the last few years. And, um, you know, you can kind of sort of see uh, from the start mm. to now, you can see the big growth mm. in the band, you know. So it's um, we, we like that. We're proud of that. You can kind of yeah. look at the first little clip to now and go, geez, come on. Oh. <laughs> Do you do you find yourself cringing now and going, oh wow, like it's only four years ago, but some of the stuff like um, like Australia talent stuff, like I mean we didn't know what a click track was. We're playing like I think it's on's like it's on is like two hundred BPM, but like. We must have been playing like. It would have been three hundred. <laughs> <laughs> you totally. Go back, to, go back and listen to the. I think it's the grand final or the preliminary final. Of Australia's got talent. We do it's on. It literally starts when it gets to the verse. You can just feel the whole song. <laughs> 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 and the smiles are getting bigger and getting more excitement. Yeah, Gotta love that. It's kind of the beauty of it, but that's what it's about. Music's not meant to be perfect, so... Um, you yeah. have to learn these things the hard way. Yeah, indeed. Well, I, I know, I think it's pretty fair to say, Jay, that I think these guys are famous now, and, and, and I don't say that in any joke sense or form, because I think you've truly made it as, you know, as a celebrity status or as a musician or as anything when you get hacked on Facebook. And... <laughs> <laughs> And now you guys have been hacked a few times. Yeah, no, maybe so just recently, recently too. There was a good Nick Wolf profile the other day. It was like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, they didn't have an E. Yeah, what did they do wrong with the name? And they said it, they went to Gilston Bay, which is just completely wrong. Gilston Bay, so uh, <laughs> there was another. Any, anyone could have Someone else set up another Wolf Brothers uh, like page, right? Oh, yeah. And like gone through and saved a heap of our, like, Proper photos off the net, and I was like, "That's." I think a lot of people like. I was like, "Well, that's weird." <laughs> you know, so, no in the, there was a Lee profile. Yeah. Yeah. There's a bit of advice. There's some strange things on the internet. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> there is. What's the internet? There's some strange ones. Well, we'll, 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 we're going to try our best to make sure all the correct links are below. <laughs> Good boys. Hey, uh, guys, thank you so much for, for taking some time out with us. Like I said at the start, we know you're terribly busy and you're in another country right now, so we thank you so much for for setting this up and, and lining it up that you made yourself available to us, it really does mean a lot. And, uh, that, that chat, guys. Thanks for having us. It's really good. Really good. On behalf of Jay and myself, we wish you guys the best in your future, and I think that's just starting, really. I really do. Oh, mate, it's, been, it's been a crazy life. We wouldn't have it any other way. Whoa. I love that. I love that. That's going to go on that. a shirt. <laughs> that's going to go on a shirt, too. You're good at this, Brody. When you come back, mate, we're going to get YouTube shirt. They put you in here, kid. <laughs> you segue like no one else, man. <laughs> That's awesome. Great work, and uh, thanks for having us on the show. We'd love to do it again sometime. Thanks Look for forward to it, boys. Yes, boys. Cheers. We'll do it soon. Thank you. Well, Mick, I think um, I think the name of their new album really sums up their life at the moment. <laughs> it's crazy life. They're happy boys, aren't they? They are, mate. And look, they're, they're following their dream. They're doing what they love. And um, look, I don't think they're going to give up until they get what they want, do you? Yeah, you know what? It's, it's, it's a real tough thing. And a lot of people don't... Well, I think a lot of people do realise it, but I don't think they actually understand just how hard it is when you leave your family time and time and time again. And these guys are out, you know, trying to make dreams and, and all this stuff for their family and, and make their dreams turn into reality. And they're, you know, they're, they're people are waiting here at home and, and, you know, everyone has to have this good support blanket when you're out working as much as these guys do and the Wolfies, they, man, they never stop working. Yeah, mate, they, they go hard and you're right, Mick, um, it's often often hardest for the ones that get left at home. And, you know, this new show, Jay, the uh, New Wave of Country, this thing's great. I was really excited when I heard this come out. There's, uh, there's seven acts mm -hmm. from three countries. So you've got, uh, obviously, Australia. Yep. And they've got New Zealand and they've got Canada inside yep. this thing. Steve White's done a great job to put this together. Um, and it goes eight 
places. I think it's in uh, Tasmania, New South Wales, Victoria maybe, and Queensland. But you can check Ticker Tech anyway and you check their yeah. website to find out exactly where that is. Look, I think, I think it's a great show and it's a great opportunity for Australian country music to see the, the new blood, what's, what's coming through in modern Australian country music. And it's only 40 bucks. 40 bucks, mate. I mean, gee, 40 bucks is crazy. For what you're going to get, $40 is ridiculous. And if anyone's ever been to a day festival anywhere, you're paying hundreds of dollars for these things. So you're going to get them all for 40 bucks. So definitely go and check out the new way of the country. Um, I reckon it's pretty safe to say that come March next year, Jay, we're going to see the boys in the CMC uh, awards again because they are fan favourites. You know, they're, they're... Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, and you know the cool thing, it doesn't surprise me after talking with Nick and Brody and Tom um, why they're so popular amongst the fans? I mean, they're they're good lads. Well, they never stop, mate. They're always they're always on the road. They're always touring. They work hard. People appreciate people who put in effort. Yeah, exactly. You know what? The Wolfies on uh, on behalf of Jay and myself and everyone here at Country Music World, we wish you all the best in your future. Check out the Wolf Brothers. Do you love country music? We love country music. Country Music World are giving you and a friend the opportunity to go to the Denny Ute Mustard for free. All you have to do is subscribe to our channel, then head on over to Facebook via the link in the description below. When you get to Facebook, you're going to have to like and share the post that's going around there at the moment. And you could be on your way to see Keith Urban, John Williamson, Troy Cassadaly, James Rain, Shannon Noll, and heaps, heaps more. All thanks to the Denny Ute Mustard and, and Country, Country Music World. World.